look, this is a matchup where you're going to probably favor the Sticks Ferryman. This is a team that just played in World's Final. The core did, Sino, Paul, Aurora. They add Baskin, they add Cyclone Spin, and they've now set the stage for game number one of season 10 of the Smite Pro League. And to cast it, we'll go down to J-Mac in Gormizer. Thank you so much. Game number one of the SPL preseason, I guess we can call it, for the kickoff event. Between the Eldritch Hounds and the Styx Ferryman on our brand new 10.3 map as well. Season of Hope. Now available for play and first time we get to see some competitive on it. Sino gets a lot of damage but needs a lot in return. A double jump in by Oath and Benny Q who dives in for the first blood at the tier 1 tower. And puts the Eldritch Hounds on the board. Able to get the one up on Sino. But late game you're still just going to have two hunters. And it's going to feel really, really progressive for your team. Cyclone gets two ults. Maybe a third one from Oath is going to be needed to take down Cyclone because he's healing up under the tower. The shell there, but it's just not enough sustain for his team. And Oath able to pick up a second kill, not even with the shell to help him out. The tower shot for the Hunters. We'll see if that Blood Forge can pay off for one of these two. That's another dive to Cyclone, but they catch out Aurora instead. The wall will block off one path, but he's very tanky right now. We'll use the Tremors. And the ult from Cyclone to help out. But now Baskin has joined the fray. And it's a four versus three fight. Quig is locked down and knocked down almost. Whoa. A little bit more damage to take him down. It'll be the last breath poison from Sino. Soul Fury, quarter HP. Cyclone is here to try and take this one away. But the Eldritch Hounds will secure the buff. But can they get out of the fight? Benny Q feeds immediately from Sino. And an ult from Oath to try and get out. But Aurora is chasing Benny down. Caught inside the Tremors and left out to try. Four members of the Ferryman. Drop down the mid laner. As far as it's time, see some changes there, but Oath, what happened to your health? He just gets 100 to zero by Sino and Paul. And now that's the jungler gone for the Eldritch Hounds. Benny Q almost dead as well, but the ult from Aurora will catch him in place. A quick shell from Quig will make sure to get Benny Q out of it to go back through. No further contest from the Eldritch Hounds. It'll be a Runic Bomb in pocket for the Ferryman plus an extra good kill on the Oath and then immediately getting to the Runic Bomb. Now you're putting pressure on the map as well. Ducky might be in some trouble here. Oh, does get hit by the last breath. Does oh, not have is. ultimate, so there's no chance that Ducky makes it out of here. Looks like where their turnaround is going to be. They don't care about the first 15 minutes of this game. They care about, well, I guess now this Fury beyond. Get some gold, get the items, get the fights going. Q jumps on by Sino. Quick, gonna peel a little bit, but now Baskin is on the way with his ultimate. Ducky is fending off three, while the other two of the six ferrymen are zoning out the remainder of the Eldritch Hounds. Now Ducky caught out, no ultimate available to him. Turn into a pig and drop down after. Cyclone credit to the kill, but now Aurora's HP is low. Whoa. The ultimate comes out from Quig, and it's just enough to help take down Aurora one for one to start the fight out, but Sino finds a double taunt. And to the back line, oh Cyclone just barely lives. It's a double kill for him, but one for Coast as well. Benny Q wants more, but just not enough in the tank from the Hounds. Baskin, a little under fire. As the Hounds have rotated the majority of their team this way, Baskin goes up to the sky, but there aren't many places that he can go. Do you drop down? Do you go to the only person <laughs> who's by himself? It's Benny Q, but it's under the tower. Immediately, we'll dash into the wall, does Baskin, so he'll be fine, able to get out in the tier one tower in return on both sides, tier one solo now for the tier one. Watch the fire giant hounds. Maybe feeling themselves trying to force a fight. Aurora's got two bombs though. This isn't as guaranteed as they want. Rubik's Rebuke is out. Fire giant is aggroed through. Eldritch hounds will get the fire, but can they get out of the fight? And ult from Aurora blocks off two. And ultimate from Cyclone hits nobody. Aurora low, but trying to run his way out. Ducky up on the big baby, slamming down as much as he can, but not getting the damage output that he was hoping for. And it seems that everybody might just be able to get out of this fight, except for Baskin. He's been left alone. And Vaporous Coast finds a couple of crits to set up the fight the way they want to. Instead, what you get is Coast 2 0 2. Maybe not the, the most. But as far as players go, I mean, he's got the most competitive pinches on his belt, period. What? And you are setting huh? up so much for your team just having him around. And Coast slamming through the HP bar. Rivers Rebuke goes up. That's going to block the Fairman away from the Phoenix defense. And a fast route now, three. tier two and mid will go to the hounds. The six ferrymen are going to give up this fire giant to the Eldritch Hounds. Did the ferrymen have any real good? And that's going to give them the go button to walk in. Last time we saw the ult from Quig to separate the fight. Ducky's HP bar is not looking great. And there's the river's rebuke as the right side Phoenix goes down. And so does Aurora. The crit rain through from Vaporous Coast. Cyclone in the back. Aegis is the damage away from Oath. So he'll make it back to the fountain. But the Eldritch Hounds. 
have done the damage necessary. The right bird has fallen, the left side one about to come back up. It seems the hounds will reposition. Oh, Benny? What? Benny just gets melted Deleted. by Paul and Basket, and now it's gonna be the same answer against Coast. The crits come through, Cyclone drops him down, but look at Ducky going back. He'll take out the left Phoenix before he has to go back to base. Unless Sino has something to say about it, it's much more of a whisper this time around. Gotta get to the Fire Giant now if you wanna take it, Fairman. The Elder Towns will get one. Ducky to the back line, but there is no more Ducky. Baskin rejoins the fray. Make it a one kill trade out on top of Cyclone. Phoenix half HP in the mid, less than a quarter on the right side. And now the mid bird has been taken out. Vaporish Coast though caught out in the middle of the river tribute. We'll find Aurora. Sino is able to get out, but Aurora just barely until Benny Q and Ducky put him down. But Vaporish Coast on the run from Baskin, who's not able to find the last shot. Instead, it's Cyclone taking out Quig. All three Phoenixes about <laughs> to go down as Ducky is slowly batting away at the remaining HP of the one on right, but we'll get it. Might lose his life because of the ferryman. But it cost him everything. Yeah. Tango at the fire. Sign up to the pack line, finds Jesus, Coast. Coast without his relics. Coast will not go down though. Instead, it's Sino trading out his life. So it's one down for the six ferryman. The fire giant drop yeah. and a surge forward for the Eldritch Hounds. Quig will find a Riptide on one. Paul goes into the house. Quig will throw out the Rivers Rebuke. He is melting to the damage of the mid laner. Aurora stuns two out and sets up some good damage for Basket. Oath dives into the back line, but he should die on landing if there's some damage out there. Quig beats, not gonna eat the damage from Basket. This time, Coast able to help bail him out alongside Quig. Wait, make sure that Benny is gonna pick this up as well. So just five more seconds, no problem and you get an EFG on the team that was already super far ahead. But it is worth mentioning right now, three of the Hounds on the left side will take out the left Phoenix. With Cyclone Paul slamming on this Baba Yaga late game. Mid Phoenix will fall down just as swiftly as the one on the left did. Paul goes up into the home sweet home. Quig and Benny nice caught out behind. That's gonna force out the shell. Sino goes in, but it's a one for one trade. Coast is gone. Oath up into the sky. Will slam around, but has to get out. The crits are raining through now, and Aurora has found one pick on the Bandicoot. Ducky, though, able to grab one before Baskin finds the double kill. Three for two. Baskin goes Baskin forward. Right now without three for the Hounds. You've got Oath and Quig going for the right side, Phoenix. They should be able to get this off to back. Yeah, at this point, you get the third bird, but you need to defend. Are still three towers up. Paul's low. On the hound side. It's half HP hard. or less for all the carries. Oath goes in immediately, Paul to the home sweet home, Cyclone and Baskin, their crits are slamming in Oath's health bar, he's gone. It's just Quig to defend. Is there enough damage from the carries? Quig finds a shutdown onto Baskin, Cyclone spin and Paul so low, Quig and Oath do just that enough. Fire. Yeah. Gonna be started by the Hounds. They're gonna get caught much Surely earlier, at this though. point they know. Baskin can even go up into the sky Those to let them are know, but Ward will spot out Aurora and Cyclone. That's a quick instant back for the Eldritch Hound. Two autos from, oh sorry, three autos from Coast, and that's gonna be a very easy kill. Mid gonna be the same way, right gonna be the same way. The last few times they were able to come in here, yes, they got the, the Phoenixes and, and opened up the base, but they lost so much in the process. Yes. Playmaker going on the Coast, forcing relics, giving openings for his team. Benny in danger, but so is Aurora. Tank is gone for the six variant, but Sino is gone as well. That's two now for the Hounds. And this should be GG, but Baskin's got so much crit alongside Cyclone, but a Titan is just not tanky yeah. enough. The Eldritch Hounds, it took them a little longer than they wanted to. That is game one, going to the up-and-comers of the SPL. For whoever's picking teams, you don't get a lot of data on the Styx Ferryman. Are you valuing them based on name? Are you valuing them based on what we see here? Things get messy depending on how game two and potentially game three goes. Let's waste no more time. Hounds versus Ferryman, game two. Darren. Six Ferryman have got to pull out a lot to try and take down the Hounds for game number two. It was a great start from the Hounds at the beginning of game one, followed by kind of a a subpar mid or Chernabog. Getting some help from the junglers over there as well. Sino gets a shield, drops the ult, but he's not fast enough to get the heal back. I mean, you could have, especially with Warrior early game scaling, essentially a second jungle. Ducky inside the ultimate from Sino. One more swipe. From the wing gust is good. Oath unable to close out a kill. Now collapsed on by three. The spirit oh, ball is there. Oh. 
And Sino credit to the kill, gifted by Aurora. Uh, yeah, as the Elder Towns go to the Gold Fury. Darmic Pillars drops by Aurora. Fury does not go down just yet. Instead, it's the Fairman to take it away. Oath thrown up by Aurora. Quig low, quick gone. Oath low, one good shot from Paul from downtown will do it. And it's a double kill for the Ferryman. An objective under their belt and maybe make it three as all five are here. Nowhere for Coast to go. And it's a kill for Baskin. Only Aurora going down to the damage of the tower. A tier one tower for Sino and Baskin on the right side of the map. We'll remove that safe aim for Dunky. Who goes into the sky. Dunk is just shy of Sino. And it's a turnaround immediately. Dunky. What are you doing, my man? I, I don't know if he thought he had backup coming yeah, a little Yeah, that sooner. looks like a we need to make something happen play that three people were a little uh, maybe behind. Maybe Ducky, like he said, was ahead. I, something goes wrong. Oh, and they are getting punished heavily for it. Look, at least keep Baskin from going forward. The Hounds have got to answer back. Ducky and Oath have ultimates to get inside, but they're being zoned away. Baskin has rejoined the fray instantly. But the Ferryman get the fury and all five maybe sans aurora will be able to get out of this one he drops the darmic pillars but he'll be the sacrificial lamb unless ducky and oath can execute. find the double dunk in agus early from paul and it's an execute from oath that's a double kill for the hounds and a much needed kill for their journey to get baskin out they got a couple of good ults that's all that matters we can we can deal with that get the fire giant like you said mentally reset ouch and unfortunately then lose aurora to a, a just beautiful horse just now finished for coast very similar to, to what his build was last time around started pushing down left hand lane at the time now little de bit of deja vu they don't get the fg that is stunned that is long range really really helpful coast does a lot of damage though and so does sino darmic pillars will be his one bailout but it's dunking from ducky gets the beads from sino who's isolated himself cyclone is dashed in aggressively now but hovering in the sky is oath and down for the execute, needs one more swing to pick up the double kill, maybe even a triple now, Baskin dashes away, but it's a triple kill for Oath, one for Vaporous Coast in the fight, and a near deicide for the Eldritch. Now not finish this fast enough to get to the mid Phoenix the way I thought they would, so it feels like the first time this game, or at least the first time in a long time, this is going to power up a lot of waves for you, we mentioned it uh, a second ago, but now left, pushed up even further because Jump ourselves right back in. Unfortunately for Ducky, he didn't make it through. The Fire Giant, though, does end up going to the Eldritch Hounds who stuck around for the gamble on it. So once again, Ducky trading his life, but Oath also caught out of position. Where will he land back down? It's on top of Cyclone that. fighting back. I love that. Does get the trade out there. A one for one. And Oath might be able to fight for more. He's still rather healthy, but now there are two collapsing down on top of the Thanatos. Gets a heal off the minion, but... That heal is nowhere near enough. Baskin able to shut him down. As much as it sucks to say this three minutes ahead, I think we're in the conversation for an EFG right now. I think we are waiting a little while. Gonna try the special once more, bringing minions to the right Phoenix, but I don't know if the rest of his teammates he brought with him didn't quite get the memo. Phoenix still stands. A quick retreat now out of the ferryman for a left side Phoenix, a split attention of the Actually, map. I mean, you've got two mages, so your base defense maybe feels better, but you really want something to go your way. Four-man retreat for the Elder Towns, right back to the Fire Giant pit. Sino, Aurora, and Paul are here. Frenzy has been popped by Aurora to try and stop this one. Darmic Pillar as well. It might be a coin toss or just complete disengage. Sino's ult is the main call. Try to get that as fast as he can to make sure that he can't just burst the FG. Oath. Standing on a ward, Quig silenced out, Spirit Ball uh -oh. connects, and Quig steps out of the fire and goes down. Paul gets credit for that one, the six ferryman with the fire giant, but Ducky in the sky finds the double dunk, but it doesn't hit the targets he was hoping, and instead he gets turned and burned instantly. A kill for Baskin. Sino thought about making, or I'm sorry, Oath tried to make a hero play they there. They get a nice respawn, and they now have such a massive advantage. Enhanced fire giant. Five members, four of which are right on the doorstep of the Phoenix. You should be able to step in, cause some trouble here. Nine seconds for Quig. That's not as big of a game changer as maybe getting Ducky back. So this is a really good opportunity to cycle up so low. Oh, goes into the back, finds the blink shot, finds the double, make My it a triple God. and execute to come through. Wait for Baskin to land, but Coast takes the quad away from him. Oh, slow down, but that does not slow down the team. Quads for the newbie into the league. And the Eldritch Hounds turn it around at the Phoenix. 
in core, that might just be game two and the one of them. All that matters, man. Look, that's well played. Uh, uh, there, who cares about anything else that just happened in that game? It's literally Oath that makes a huge play. Yes, there's a lot of damage. I have to give shout outs to Benny Q, shout outs to Coast, because they're there to really facilitate and enable that Thanatos. But a triple kill, quadra kill to end the, the game, three of which are on a huge defense that you need to make happen while you're in a three.